Bloomberg released a report and it is going to be harder than ever to find a console in the coming years. Yeah, so uh, this is really, really concerning. Basically, another component, not just the semiconductors, are in limited supply for console manufacturers. Before we get into the full detail, details, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to know when these posts go live. Uh, real quick, let's get into it here though. So basically, uh, the supply of chips will remain very tight until at least September next year, said Takeshi Kamabuchi, a director in charge of semiconductors at one of the company's units. In some cases, we may find some customers not being fully serviced served until 2023. This is all via Bloomberg, and I believe it's referring to Toshiba, who has said, basically, these are power regulating chips that might, I mean, that are in limited supply and that are additionally going to make it harder for you to buy a console if you don't have one yet. And near the end of the article, they say some console customers have told the assembler that they may alter their circuit board design to reduce the required components, according to the Bloomberg piece. A switching to alternative providers for stuff like a semiconductor isn't an easy solution or these power parts. Uh, because of safety certifications that power regulating chips play a role in, console makers can't just go to the next semiconductor maker and ask for the same part. So already we've seen that Sony has had to adjust their build strategy to reduce their usage of certain components in their heat sink. Uh, the heat output, at least according to Digital Foundry, is within normal regions. But now we're being told by this Bloomberg report that the circuit board could also be changed to reduce usage of these rare components. So who knows what sort of consoles we're going to be getting by the year 2023. Toshiba is doing their best to deal with this. Uh, according to the article, they plan to invest 60 billion yen, $545 million in the three years to March 2024 to boost output of power semiconductors. That's from Kamabuchi. Options beyond that period include additional investment that may include building another factory despite some investor concerns that demand will evaporate after the pandemic-fueled frenzy for electronics. Kamabuchi said the company is confident that the that orders will keep growing rapidly enough to sell out all its production lines for year to come. And their forecast for semiconductor profit is more than double what it was in 2019. These things are in high demand. And, you know, often we talk about console manufacturers, but you have to realize that in addition Almost everything uses semiconductors these days. You're talking about car manufacturers. Your refrigerator probably <laughs> has a semiconductor in it. Televisions. All of these products utilize these components. And they have orders that are backed up for a very long time for these in high demand pieces of gear. So, of course, the Shiba is going to invest a lot in a program like this, because they're going to see return on their investment for sure, especially when everybody's saying they want them. Video game consoles are another prominent victim of the power chip shortage. Sony said it was still confident it can sell more than 14.8 million units of the PlayStation 5 this fiscal year to match the pace of its predecessor. But the new console's production in the April June quarter lagged behind the PlayStation 4s for the same period. Nintendo's Switch production hasn't been sufficient to serve customer demand, according to President, President Sh Shintaro Furukawa. His, his company intends to sell 25.5 million Switch units in the current fiscal year. year. You got to remember, they have the OLED model, they have the Switch Lite, and they have the OG-style Switch on the market right now. So hearing about all this, hearing about how one of the console manufacturers is talking about altering their board, for me, that's a little concerning. I don't, I'm sure they'll alter it in a way that's safe, but if their original spec was whatever the launch units were, and now they're just having to constantly redesign and remanufacture from scratch, that 
opens them up to the chance of error. Now, we don't know if that's Nintendo, PlayStation, or Xbox, but that should be concerning to all gamers if these companies are having to go back to the drawing board to figure something out for 2023, 2024. That's that's a much shorter window than I imagine a, a console designer typically goes through, but at least they have the base design. So that's concerning to me and just generally not good news for anybody that wants to get a console. Now, Sony has repeatedly said that they have a strategy here that they have their own supply and that they've figured out a way to hit that target 14.8 million units. I've done a few stories about how, you know, they have something in plan that should kick in around 2022, but now they're saying that the shortage could be until 2023. So does Xbox have that same plan? Does Nintendo have that same plan in relationship to make sure that gamers are getting the console that they need or want for the holiday season this year, the holiday season next year, and beyond. You have to remember the PlayStation 4, for example, has something like 100 million units. The PlayStation 5, by contrast, I don't believe they've broken 20. I think they had a, a, a post, I believe it was June or July, that they just hit 10 million total units sold. They're aiming for 14.8 million units this year. Are they going to hit that target? Meanwhile, PlayStation 5s are flying off the shelf. Xbox 5s are flying off, or Xbox Series X are flying off the shelf. Both manufacturers are having record sales. But when you're looking at an additional component that could be delayed, I have to imagine that this is a red alert that they've been notified of and are worried about. This is going to mean that consumers everywhere aren't going to be able to get the console of their choice or the second console or whatever you're going for in time for Black Friday, the holidays, etc. I hope I hope that the outcome of this is eventually all store shelves are just flooded with every console. Um, I was at Costco the other day and I did see the Series S was in stock. I immediately asked about Series X and PS5. No, they're they're gone. <laughs> so I don't know why that was even available at all. Well, the other ones weren't. I must have just been there at a, a lucky time. It is the, it is the mid tier upgrade, right? And then uh, I've heard a few stories about that, like that, about the Series S actually. But then they sell, and then yeah, because of, if you can't get an X, Xbox Series X and you can't get a PlayStation Five, and you see some inexpensive console that you can pick up and play next gen titles on, at least at a better quality than the Xbox One X in a lot of cases, I bet you'd be at least interested in pulling that trigger for, for the price point that that console is at. Maybe PlayStation comes up with something like that. That would actually be really smart. Some sort of a separate product. So they still have the PlayStation 5, they have the digital edition, and then they come up with a competitor for the S. That would be one way to boost their sales. But I, I don't think they're going to do that with their current strategies in place to sell PlayStation 5 units. What do you think about all this? This is concerning to me because I want people to be able to play games. Like, I don't care what platform you play on. <laughs> I have my platform preference. But if uh, if nobody can play on anything, that's bad for everybody. You know, I'm sure the Nintendo Switch will still be in supply, though, because everybody buys the Nintendo Switch. Uh, what are your thoughts? Are you concerned about this? This sounds like those consoles are con going to continue to be scarce into the future years. And uh, that's that's a bummer. Hey, if you like these sort of videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to become a member, memberships are turned on on YouTube. Thank you to everybody who has become a member. I'm going to get out of here. See you for the next one, everybody. Bye for now.